Ariel Helwani post fight at UFC 155 alongside Miles Jury who dominated Michael Johnson here tonight as he puts on his t-shirt you gotta you gotta pay the bills right yeah shout out to throne well you know it was an unbelievable performance it was a dominating performance did you expect to be able to dominate him quite like that um, I knew I had the skills to, to beat him and beat him decisively my, my strike it makes for my wrestling is like top-notch you know it's like people gotta respect my strike and they're gonna take it down and I think a lot of people just like to try and take me for granted, you know, and just kind of look over me and try and just act like they're going to bully me. But I've been bullied my whole life, man, you know, so bring it. I, I got uh, stuff for all that, so. What do you mean when you say you've been bullied your whole life? Whenever I spar, I fight people because I, I move really good and I, and I set up my strikes. People just say, screw trying to go technique for him. I'm just going to get in his face and rah, rah, rah. And uh, when you do that, you leave yourself open a lot of times for takedowns and shots. So that's something I got good at over the years. And I think that's what, what helped me with Mike tonight. I even heard some people say after Michael Johnson's last couple of performances were so good that he was almost above you, that this was like kind of a, a bad fight for him. Did you hear any of that talk? Uh, yeah, I mean, I know Mike's just tough, man. Michael fight anybody. And uh, that's what I'm saying for like my career. I, like, I don't, I don't do this for nothing but for fun, man. This is what I, I want to do in my life. I'm only young for so long. And uh, when, I'm, when I don't feel like fighting anymore, I'm going to hang it up. I don't need to... I don't need to pay bills. I don't need, I don't got bills and stuff, man. I, I live in the front room and I live below my means. I got a good girl, I got good people in my life and it's all I need, man. So this is all extra for me. Coming out here on MGM, you know what I'm saying? That's stuff when I'm, I'm in my rocking chair hanging out with a little heathen. I'm gonna be like, man, remember when we fought at MGM? That shit was tight, or stuff. Uh, how long do you expect to fight for, given that? Um, how long in my career? Yeah. I don't know, I'm just taking take every fight by fight, man. Honestly, the, the camp's so stressful. Being under this pressure, it's so stressful. I just take it literally fight by fight and, uh, I mean, I'm still having fun, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's nervous and, and it's, uh, you know, a lot of stress, but it's, it's worth it, man. And, and as long as it's still worth it to me, I'm going to continue fighting. So how nervous were you going into this fight? I was so nervous. Like I wasn't really sleeping that much last night or the night before, but something like that happened today. I was talking to my manager, my coach, and they were like, dude, you don't got, you got nothing to lose. I ain't scared to go out there and get knocked out. I ain't scared to go out there and lose because I, I do this for fun, man. I don't, I don't not like, oh, I got kids I need to take care of. I got a mortgage payment I need to make. I got, I got to win this. I'm like, I go out there and I'm like, I don't care. Do I get slept? I get slept. If I, if I get a, a win, I, I get a win. I know I can beat anybody in the world and I work hard. So other than that, I'm just having fun. It's putting out for my fans, my family. That's it. This is your first time having to fight outside of the first round. All your other fights were finishes in the first. What did that feel like? Um, I, I fought Al in a tough three-round fight on the show, and that really gave officially, me, I would say, officially, yeah, right. that gave me the experience I think for these three-round fights, and I, I just really know how to relax and uh, be patient and and not just go you know balls to the wall every second of the of the round. I set stuff up, and like you seen it tonight, I didn't force a lot of takedowns. I set them up, and and they came, you know. Technique Did he hurt you at any point in the fight? Uh, he caught me with a couple of good shots, one in the chest, one in the head, but uh, none that you know. I, I trained with little heathen Ross Pearson, Michael Chandler. I train with all those guys, man. Nikki P, you guys are gonna see him coming out. He's a 45er from Alliance. Um, I got so many good guys at the gym that are coming through all the time. I had uh, I had this Mowgli guy, 14-2 uh, from Tijuana, kickboxer southpaw. I brought in Eric Wisely. I brought in Lance Benoist. So uh, I, I, get, I get beat up all the time in the gym, man. So it's like whatever. I just get paid to be, get beat up out here. Who's next? Um, I don't really care. I mean, I don't really call anybody out. But I think a fun fight for me and something that I would want to fight. No, no disrespect towards me or anything like that. I think it'd be a good fight for me and the fans is uh, Takanori Gomi. Right. I'd like that fight sometime in the future. I gotta go rest up, go home, visit my family. I bought I bought a house a little while ago, so I'm gonna go check it out. So uh, you know, I'm, I, that's my first time seeing. It. I've been out training, man, in San Diego. So shout out 248 HP, all my sponsors, uh, Malt Shop. Love you guys. All right, well, congratulations. Enjoy. Looking forward to what's next for you. Thank you.